Hey, hey, good morning, good morning. Um, of course, I'm over here trying to see if I can share this out so that more people can get this good information we're going to talk about uh, this morning. I'm super excited. I'm always excited uh, when I get to kind of get us in a space like this with my clients. And I love all of my clients the same, but some have worked with me for quite some time and um, I've gotten to know them on different levels and their brand and what they're doing and um, all of my clients, they're doing, you know, really, really amazing things. But so Jenner has been kind of riding this thing out with me. Yeah. Uh, not only has she been growing her brand, but she's been connected to me as I've been growing, you know, my own brand. And so I thought what would be interesting for you guys as an audience would be to hear us talk about building bigger brands. So I'm not only going to allow her to share her experience with um, working with me as a coach, but also talk about what that looks like, you know, building a bigger brand. And I'm going to throw some of um, my takeaways from me growing in as well. So normally it's more, you know, what are they doing? How was it working with me? But I thought we would do ours just a little different um, because there was longer history. Yeah. Um, gosh. Uh, let's see. So how did I find you? Um, well, I used to subscribe to Periscope and I saw you there first. Um, and then uh, I discontinued the Periscope and uh, I was looking to, you know, uh, connect. I was really familiar, not very familiar with uh, an online audience or um, really social media um, as a whole, other than, you know, just my personal page to connect with family. Um, and uh, so I met a young lady who um, was working in the industry and we connected through our craft. Um, and that was uh, Simone. Mo uh, uh, she braids and I also braid as well. And so um, we connected and I joined her Facebook group um, that she's had for several years. And um, through connecting with her, she happened to share uh, a video of yours in the group. And um, she and I had just like maybe three days prior um, had been talking about um, uh, our craft in the industry and things like that. And she was like, girl, you don't have a brand. And I was like, I don't. So I, you know, I was like, what is a brand? I don't even know what a brand is. Um, and then, um, so I go looking for, you know, brand. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, so trying to define it. And, you know, I've been doing hair for, for years. Like, well, well, how have I been surviving? <laughs> you know. Uh, but, but you know, I ended up finding you again, and uh, actually on Facebook, and so I started following you, started listening to your video, uh, your videos, um, your lives, and things like that. And I was like, man, I think she's gonna be able to help me with this brand issue, and then, <laughs> um, and so then you had launched your. I think it was the 3D success. Mm -hmm. um, and you used to have a tagline that you would say all the time and it just would resonate with me. Your mind has a lot to do with your business. Um, you know, and I'm like, well, what does my mind have to do with my business? You know, and then when I would ask these questions, we would literally come in and give me solid answers, you know, as if, you know, when I would put a question out there in the air pertaining to my brand, to my business, my steps in my, you know, my personal life, it was like, 
my phone with chime and then here you go answering <laughs> the very questions it was that i was looking for the answers to so then i was like okay oh my god there is something going on here and <laughs> it would behoove me not to stay connected and wow. um, i can honestly say with that um i do have a brand i always had a brand <laughs> um and uh and I just had not put words to it or actions or implementation or an order. It didn't really have a system. It just kind of looked a little all over the place. And with taking the uh, 3D success, you know, I um, understand after the course, I learned what destiny is. Um, I uh, understood and began a better relationship with dollar um and my decision making <clears throat> um and uh it was the start of the discipline part in which i felt like it was something that if i didn't take the course i wouldn't have even understood that i had a struggle in that um and so then uh i think you offered slay your plans so uh I did the slay your plans, and that just even enhanced uh, my productivity and understanding of um, how my mindset, um, getting in my own self's way, um, the difference in um, wanting to do something in your business but not necessarily have the strategy. And so you're just talking about what you wanna do, um, but you're not uh, completing the task. Um, those systems, man, gave me accountability. Um, and, you know, you gotta do the work though. <laughs> if you don't do the work, it's, you know, awesome. it's really a waste. So, so you mentioned um, 3D Success. So for those of you who are watching us, I have not launched 3D Success this year at all. So 3D Success Mentorship and Branding Bootcamp is another one of my babies. So it was one of my signature programs, but it is going to go in a completely different platform um, on next year. And so I've had um, my, the bulk of my focus this year has been on my mastermind. But before we get into that, I want Sojourner to talk about her brand. And, you know, we know <clears throat> that she shared that previously, she was like, what is a brand? Um, and then recognized that she does have a brand all this time. Who would have thought she already had a brand? And that's because, guys, regardless of whether you're intentional about building your brand or not, you have a brand. And it's, it's really how the marketplace sees you. And once you become intentional about it, you actually create more connection with the right people that are suitable for your brand. But before doing that, you got to understand like who you are, um, what significant things about you do you want to present uh, so that it's something that makes the connection for customers. So Sojourner, well, let's kind of gradually move into the growing of your brand. So where were you when you first connected with me? I didn't, I, I didn't really know how the marketplace uh, saw me. So I had to um, ask a um, question um, of my clients, you know, um, about you know, why do they come and get their services from me? Um, especially my clients that have been um, rocking with me for years. Um, and then I also would ask my uh, clients that may not have been with me for years. However, they've been with me for maybe a few months at that time. Right. Um, and, uh, they would refer others. So I needed to know like, you know, why are you referring other people to me? And so then I would write those things down um, and uh, 
And then you begin to process that. Uh, and through working with you, um, I was able to also identify my ideal customer. Um, and so um, I realized that, you know, my brand is um, aiding and assisting those who want to have clarity in just basic general hair care practices. Um, yeah. We really don't want negative hair situations. Um, they, uh, some of my uh, clients uh, I serve, um, I meet them where they are. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, that way there's no, no judgment. There's a no judgment zone um, to my brand. So, so, yeah. so when when we first started working together, were were you working by yourself at the time? How was that situation? How was your business model uh, when we first started working together? Uh, I worked by myself, um, and every now and then I would have you know a stylist uh, come through, um, and she may work for a little while and and then um, go on to other things. Um, and I realized so, um, you also attract people where you are. Um, and so uh, recognizing that, you know, you can attract people where you are. Um, again, I can't help but, I mean, because I've taken so much of, <laughs> of, of whatever it was that you had to offer. Um, and watch videos, man, <laughs> that I can remember uh, us just ending the session. I don't even really remember which course it was, but it was uh, about attracting um, the right kind of people just in general. Um, and so I started out with just myself in the salon. Um, and I now have uh, two um, established uh, stylists um, that special have their own specialties that they bring to the uh, the natural hair uh, part of the industry, um, and they're extremely talented. They are very professional. Um, but if I didn't work those systems for myself personally for my brand, for my business, I would have not attracted the uh, professionals that I like to call them colleagues, the colleagues that I work with um, today. I think it makes a significant difference. And so, you know, one of the biggest aspects for me for branding is probably not the space that's popular, but I think it's the space that's necessary for people who really wanna do something really major with their brand over time and that's who you are as a brand and sometimes who you are and how you may feel that you're showing up they're not always the same thing and it's not a bad thing because you're in a space of awareness that's correct because as long as you are uh aware then that means you have options um you have choice opportunity to make change um, and if you have systems in place, you can go back and refer to those things so that um, the transition, the change, the acceptance, the whole process um, is smooth. Absolutely. I, I think that, um, so one of the things, Sojourner is a, she owns a brick and mortar service-based business. She focuses on natural hair care. She's a licensed trichologist. Uh, or certified trichologist, and she also owns her own product that's doing like extremely well. Um, and and what Sojourner, what's happening? What I'm seeing happen with Sojourner's brand at this time is she's moved into the the attraction stage. So oftentimes we're in like a seed stage of our business, and you guys will hear me talk about that often. I'm actually teaching um, it in detail the way I've never presented it live before. Um, at an upcoming workshop, October 20th, Unshameless Plug in Raleigh, North Carolina. 
But uh, oftentimes when we're in that seed stage, we're, we're just kind of like uncertain and, and we're figuring it out and we're more into chasing than we are attracting. But Sojourner now, Sojourner, how many years has it been? Maybe three years, four and a half years or two and a half, three? Three going on four. four. Okay, three going on four. That's how long Sojourner has been working with me. She's taken every course that I have. Um, she's now one of my mastermind members and her growth is, I mean, it's just so beautiful to see from behind the scenes. Um, so many things are happening for her from uh, be attracting people to ask her to come and speak. Yes. Yes. Um, the uh, I, how I ended up uh, doing some of the speaking speaking engagements is when I began to look at my brand um, coming from a space of community, um, and uh, so I connected with a nonprofit organization uh, that provides uh, hair care. Um, tools and products um, to foster families who service ethnic children. Um, and so uh, I've been connected with them for um, a little over a year now. Um, I've serviced uh, 15 counties in uh, my state, in the state of Oklahoma. Uh, and basically what I do um, where I come in at is that I will uh, teach a class to these foster parents, introducing them to um, just general hair care practices that we all do, regardless as to what our nationality is, what our hair texture is. Um, and then we begin to go a little bit more specific to uh, ethnic hair, um, things such as uh, shampoo selection, conditioner. Um, sometimes they want to know what a particular hairstyle is called um, when they go into a salon. Um, so I familiarize them with some of the uh, general terminology um, and uh, how to use the tools. It's one thing to give a tool to a person, but there's another thing to teach them actually how to properly use the tool. So that's where um, I uh, come in at with the, uh, the nonprofit organization, the Hair Initiative. Um, so, so what we did was we created a signature course for Sojourner. So not only can she use it to teach uh, locally, but she can uh, make it a course available online. The possibilities are unlimited, but you guys see she's in 15 counties uh, now uh, with that thing. And so the, our, our talk for today is about building a bigger brand. And it is my heart because of the number of people in business, regardless of what type of business they have, who end up... Uh, really just having created a job for themselves. So they get in one phase of the business and they find that they feel stuck or they feel burned out. And I believe that burnout is a sign of a few things. You either need more information about where it is that you currently are or you have evolved, but your brand hasn't evolved with you. And so we're burned out because there's a, a, another level of expansion about who we are. And because so much of who we are uh, dictates our brand, allowing our brand to evolve with us is important. Now, I didn't always know that I had permission to do that, right? right. Um, me, I had so many opportunities, speaking engagements, uh, the opportunity to be on television shows. And most of them I was turning down. Most of them, I, because I was like, I'm, that's not what I do. <laughs> And I really embraced the fact that what I did was not who I was and I was unlimited in how I could show up in the world. 
I've, I stepped fully into it. It's how I fully so decided to you know, start consulting. And then once I did, I realized there were so many people just like me who you know, may have been doing something for quite some time, or maybe they started something and realized, oh, this don't quite do it for me. And oftentimes when we don't have a vision for building the brand out bigger, we, um, we get burned out as well. Because we can work in a season for a few years knowing that it's taken us to the next phase of our vision um, because there's always something to do. And so what you guys are hearing is Sojourner progressively walking from one level or one stage of expansion to, to the next in her business. And it pleases me so much. I've watched her go from working sometimes six days a week, maybe seven. I'm not sure about the seven part to just being off on a Friday at home in her garden um, because she no longer was trading all of her time for dollars. She created other streams of revenue. I mean, we all can take off, but to actually have some money coming in or money that we've earned from you know different streams of revenue where we feel comfortable doing it, it's a whole nother level of freedom, a, a whole nother level of freedom. And for me, I know that it looks like her internet may have glitched. I believe she'll be back here in this moment. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I, I moved thinking that, you know, that would do it. I moved to another location. But anyway, we're pushing through and you've been so great about being able to connect and continue the conversation uh, for for the guest. And so has your product gone grown since we've been working together as far as the sales? Oh, God, yes, definitely. <laughs> Uh, definitely. Um, so again, like when, when we connected, I was struggling in, um, trying to separate everything that needed to be separated, separating the product line from the salon, right? as well as disconnecting myself, um, from uh, the product from the salon so that everything would have its own uh, entity. That was something that I did not um, have. And perhaps maybe that would have explained why it was a challenge to um, have other professionals uh, work out in the salon. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. See that. I needed to be able to separate um, understanding you know all of the rules the regulations and the processes and have those systems in place um so that uh the salon can run without me being there yeah um that's extremely huge and that's important um so working through the different uh courses um, especially getting into the mastermind that really finalized things uh, for me. And so um, like today, I'm off today, um, but the salon is open and there's stylists there um, ready to uh, service those who uh, need hair care services. Um, so I don't have to be uh, present all the time. Um, and I know as a salon owner, um, for some stylists slash owners or just salon owners, um, the freedom of not uh, thinking that you have to police your business, oh God, it's like- a It's freeing. Yes, it's a breath of fresh air. A breath of fresh air. Um, yes. So uh, Sojourner is talking about uh, when she said the mastermind, so I have a year long program where I work with service based business owners. They don't have to be in the salon industry, but if you service people and you have a business, 
Um, I worked with the business owners for a year and many of them develop new levels of, of income. Recently, we had a product development expert to come on and share some things with us. It's created new levels of income for people who may not have thought about that prior. Um, so what, what I do is I bring in three experts because everything is not my lane. I stay in my lane, which is branding, um, building the business and finding new profit strategies. And the profit strategies allow people to do things like going from five days to three days and still earning six figures in their business. That amount of time freedom for a business owner or a woman in business is priceless. Um, abundance mindset, personal growth. Those are the things I focus on. And the other things I pass over to other people and bring them in for my guests to be able to experience uh, they ask them questions and learn how to do whatever that thing is. I think we did trademarks and LLCs and uh, copywriting and things like that. So each session is different. I really listen to the people that I'm onboarding into the course. For instance, um, I, um, I did an onboarding call with a, a mastermind member on yesterday. And one of the things I understand is really important to her that we offer in the mastermind, but I know it's super important to her is the mindset part. You know, she expressed the importance of that, which is great. And I can tweak the mindset part. The, the curriculum is curriculum, but um, I do mindset trainings in there, you know, as well. And so there's room for me to, um, and I'm super excited because I think that a lot of people in the space of entrepreneurship are really ready to embrace mindset in this season, which is excellent because, you know, that, that's my baby. I feel like it's 80% of, of what we do. So how has the mindset? I think she was going to ask me, how is my, the mindset component uh, to the trainings? I think, was that what you were about to ask me? I was going to ask you, how have they benefited you, the mindset portions of it? And I'm here. I'm going to step over, but I'm here. Okay. 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 Um, gosh. Uh, again, if you do the work, you'll see results. Um, and uh, as far as how it helped me, I mean, I use it all the time. Um, and you have to practice uh, um, keeping... Um, your mind uh, focused, um, but if you don't have clarity, I mean, the mind can wander. So um, that that clarity part of the mindset uh, training is huge, you know, as well. Um, I mean, you need to be clear on where it is that you're going. Um, and, and so again, that's those systems, planning your mindset, putting dates on things, um, dates hold you accountable. Um, otherwise, you're just in a dream phase. Um, mm. You know, uh, if you haven't put a date on it, how committed are you? Are you just talking about it, or are you actually being about it? I mean, I think I think, it, it, I think many people struggle. Mindset thing is huge, um, and yes. Um, Things will happen, um, and yes, you will have, a, you know, perhaps maybe a negative thought or a negative emotion uh, about that situation. But hey, let's not be stuck there. Is you know, is that part that we discuss a lot in uh, in pretty much all across the board? Um, and I think when you were asking us. Um, uh, your mastermind group. I think we all were like, I mean, that's your that's your brand. Um, you know, kind of um, when you and I um, have chatted privately about being in a problem world. But, um, oh, um, and that's a uh, mindset space that I, that I presently live in. Um, yes, there's going to be problems. There's going to be problems in your business, your personal life, and things like that. But, you know, I have solutions. I have options. 
Um, so yeah, I just you know now have coined it as um, I'm from Solution City. Who yeah. happens to be traveling in this problem world? Um, and so I can always, ref, you know, reference those. Um, I, I want to repeat what she said. <laughs> She said, I am in Solution City. I just happen to be traveling through this problem world. And, you know, just to give some clarity, I like to like, you know, that's really good. And so what she's saying is that her focus is on solutions and not problems. And what happens oftentimes as we're building our business and, you know, the vision is so much bigger than we are and we get overwhelmed with the, the stuff that's in front of us, way ahead of us. Uh, and we focus on it as the problems that are aligned with it, as opposed to the solution. So I teach two solutions. And as we're sharing that, one of the things I, I realized um, after this year that was super, super important, whenever I talked about people coming to work with me or possibly joining the mastermind, is that I also shared with them the type of coach that I am, um, which is part of my brand. And it was something that we went over as a group and if I remember well, the group coined me as strong, a strong, I forgot what the other words were behind that particular type of brand and classic brand. So I want to take a moment to kind of explain that. And then, you know, maybe Sojo could kind of tell you what type of brand um, she is as well. So yesterday, as I was onboarding a client, the first thing I shared with her was, you know, as we move forward, because the process is a you know, you sign up and then we schedule a call and we figure out what your focus is going to be for the year. So as individuals, before we start coaching together as a group. And so we were on her onboarding call and I said, I want to share with you um, because most people only get to see me like on my videos and online. And I said, I want to share a little bit with you about how I coach and who I am as a brand and what I believe. I said, so I believe in hard work. I believe in truth and honesty, hands down. Um, I believe, I don't believe in, uh, so. Okay, she will be back, I promise. Um, sometimes uh, when people are looking to get coach, some people are really, and I'm just going to be blunt, looking for a cheerleader and not necessarily a coach. And I am a strong brand. So I do, I coach, I coach firm, but I coach fair. And there are some times when you're a brand that walks in truth and you're really wanting people to grow that we uncover things about ourselves that might feel a little uncomfortable. And I, when, when, if you find yourself in that space where we're coaching, my assignment in that is not to let you fall back into that, but to encourage you to just keep going, you know, just keep going. And to some people, it may be um, maybe something that they aren't accustomed to. And, you know, we all have our personal life things that we've gone through and what we're looking for. And coaching and cheerleading is kind of two different things. So I encourage my clients all the time. I always, you know, congratulate them and encourage them, but I also stretch them. So for those of you who are thinking of, of you know, connecting with me or working with me, I take your growth like really, really, really serious. And, you know, if, if you've never coached before you, or you aren't clear what coaching is, and I work with a lot of kingdom entrepreneurs, so I find that many kingdom entrepreneurs uh, are used to a lot of motivation and, you know, which is, you know, more um, it, that stuff will speak to your soul, but it won't transform you. And so I am a transformational coach and my, I really want to see you soar. So I just kind of wanted to share as a coach and a brand, I am a strong brand. Um, and I mean, we have a great time. We we laugh when we come together, but we're working. We're really serious about how we show up in the world and creating legacy for our families. And so I said I would take time as I am moving forward on my trainings to, you know, just kind of share that with people. I have a very, I have a subtleness about me 
Um, but but I'm also like a strong brand. So. Oh, it looks like everything, uh, <coughs> excuse me, dropped. So, so, so what, what would you say, Sojo, in your experience in working with me as a coach? Referring to your brand or referring to my brand? Like you working with me in my brand, what would you say uh, the personality of me as a coach would be? Oh, well, um, definitely consistent. Um, definitely, um, you're, you got a lot to pour. Um, you give value beyond measure. Um, if you, if you do work, if you use the tools, that's the thing. I mean, um, just through, uh, going through all of your coaching processes, um, it, it allowed me to also see, uh, the fact that, um, that I'm a coach too, but I'm coaching something different. Yes, yes, you know, yes. I'm coaching yes. different. Um, oh, that's so good. You, you know, good. As a coach, we meet you where you are. We're going to support you, but we're not going to do everything for you. We're going to give you the tools because isn't that what a coach does? A coach yes. sees the the gifts and the talents and the treasure it is that you have. And for me, from behind the chair, I've learned um, through uh, the whole growth um, for both of us. What I realized is that, um, a coach from behind the chair, um, I'm going to support you. I'm going to provide you with the information. Um, mm -hmm. At the end of the day, it's your decision. On, the end the on where you're going to go, um, and uh, and I mean, exceptional. The mastermind was not misnamed in no form or fashion. <laughs> it was just that it has been just that exceptional. Um, wow. Awesome. And, and you know, you want to raise the bar because you want to see the people who you're supporting win. I, I, I've never met a coach in any topic, mm -hmm. any subject um, that is a real coach, not um, provide those same things, support, firmness, um, coming from a place of love and passion. Um, I mean, truth, um, what coach that's not a good coach hasn't stung you in some form or fashion with the truth? You know, and then it's up to you to decide with that truth what you're going to do with it. You know, um, I think that's been my biggest lesson in my growth as well. I remember uh, one of my mentors sharing with me. Uh, it's been so many years ago, but it was something that she said to me <clears throat> that stung me in the moment. And I look back to assess it. I said, hmm. OK, maybe that is, you know, in that moment. Um, but I learned to embrace it because those things were really pivotal. Right. And those are the things that actually make the big that process to get you moving. Yes. Um, when sometimes you may not have even realized that you um, you had a disruption or stuck a little bit in that particular area. And I that that's what coaches do uh, because you are looking at the grander picture um, and able to pull out the things that um, you see that can be improved um, or have lain dormant. Um, I do that with my clients. Um, sometimes a style selection, um, they may not realize that they left the style in um, for too long. And as a result, 
um, it caused a negative situation. Um, so I'm there to coach them through the process um, and develop understanding um, so that they can leave confident, um, not only in the fact that I care about uh, their hair, um, but that they're also confident in knowing that they have been provided good, sound information um, and that they can um, move forward in in their uh, hair journey. And that's yeah. the same thing it is that I feel that um, I've experienced um, with your brand. Uh, you're looking at the grandeur picture um, you, where you see that there's uh, a tweak that may need to be implemented to provide the information um, so that then it's an option so that the person can make the, you know, the valid decision. The, the same thing with you, um, you know, the course that you created that you teach to nonprofits at, you know, a space of that is still coaching when you are sharing. Oh, you're back. <laughs> so I, I really wanted to make this interview a little different because you've worked with me for an extended amount of time and you've been able to experience me um, at my 95%. Um, we're having a good time. We're learning good stuff. And then also the 5% where, you know, I'm having to really come in and coach. And um, I think it takes someone who stays, you know, the long haul and is teachable and coachable. And I'm sharing this because people will come on and watch and they will they may have been considering. And I think it's fair that they know that um, underneath me giving you information, you know, when we're working together like that and you told me this is what you want to do and I know that maybe some of the things that you're doing won't get you there, then I do share that with you, you know? Oh, oh, and oh I, yeah. <laughs> I don't uh, talk that's to also, it. That's also a part of coaching. Yeah, I don't have to excuses. So some people, I, I saw this amazing phrase that said, um, love will. She'll be back with this code. I'm eager to hear it myself. Yeah, it's just one of those things. But it said, love will accept you where you are. They'll tolerate who you are but perfect love will cause you to change and grow. And when I read, when I heard, when I heard that it was so powerful because I was like, so many times we're looking, we think that people don't love us if they're sharing a different way for us to do things because just, especially in the church, we've been so accustomed to needing to be cheered on that we haven't stepped into spaces of what would really cause us us to grow. And so I just wanted to slip that in on this interview because it's really, really important to me that the people see growth and also that they get a return on their investment. So you can't do that if if you know you, you don't um, do the work. And so your brand uh, sojourner, when when I think of your brand, I think of healing. That's like one of the first words um, that comes to mind when I think of you healing, um, care, um, natural, I definitely think natural, but more from a holistic perspective. If you agree that that is, you know, pretty much who your brand is and guys, I'm asking for you guys, cause you guys know me and her been working together. <laughs> that is what I feel. But if you're in agreement with that, Tell how that aligns with what you do. And even, well, I don't know if you want to share that level of progression that you have doing now, which is understandable. Some stuff you keep to, you've done it or whatever. But how does that align with, with your values and, and your brand? Um, it totally lines up with uh, my values and brand. Um, because um, like you mentioned earlier, yes, I have a garden. Um, I'm extremely uh, passionate about um, the whole person, you know, and if 
if hair is what brings us together, um, that is totally awesome. <laughs> um, whole. Um, as a stylist, we all know in the beauty industry, um, people tell us and, and explain life situations to us on the regular and daily. Um, and so if you want your uh, clients that you serve, you want them to win, um, sometimes you have to go that extra mile um, to be able to uh, serve. And um, so I like to take a holistic approach to your hair care because your hair starts out from the inside component of your body. Um, and that's why the Twisted Sister tagline is the healthy hair destination. And if you take the word healthy, there's two words in it. And that's heal and thy. So when you walk into the Twisted Sister Salon on the wall, you will see um, a statement that says, the healthy hair destination. And so um, if you take that healthy and you split that in half, you have two words there. So really it's the heal thy hair destination. So you have arrived. And I wow. so yeah, I do take a holistic approach, um, mind, body, and spirit. Um, if any of it is out of alignment or being mismanaged, you're going to experience a loss. And so, Absolutely. I mean, so I'm mean, whoever it is. <laughs> so, so I mean, now I mean, as I'm listening to you, of course, we've worked together for quite some time. But I think we can. I think I learn something new from you guys every time you speak. You know, maybe. You may not say it, but it may be like revelatory to me. And yeah. I'm just looking at how you've been really getting clear on who you are as a brand. Yeah. How has that helped you in the marketplace? Like, how has that helped you feel better about going to work or doing it's, I, it? Uh, for me, uh, the healthy hair destination is something that I showing up um, consistently um, with providing um, the professional services um, for those who I serve. Um, it's uh, also um, very rewarding um, when I'm able to see uh, wins, you know, when, when my and clients when I win, when um, I see a new client that has taken on um, the use of my product or I've collaborated with another uh, professional who is looking um, for a product of exclusivity in their salon. Um, okay, hold up. I'm because we did not add that she wholesales her product too, guys. I forgot to... I mean, like, yeah, you know, it's so much has transpired, but her product is also wholesale. I put the links in the chat box and you can check to make sure I spelled everything right. I just had to throw that little plug out there. Guys. Yes. Yes. So, I mean, this journey has been just totally awesome. So, yes, I do have a product. Um, it is a natural uh, product. It has... Uh, a astringent, um, and the astringent is for uh, the scalp. Uh, it helps with cerebral dermatitis, um, scalp inflammation, itchy scalp. Um, if you work out, if you're in the process of doing your locks, but they haven't yet um, matured, um, it definitely works great for in between. Uh, cleansing with shampoos and co-washes and things like that. Um, I also have a moisturizer. Uh, that moisturizer can be used 
or any fixed styles, and that would be any no brush, no comb styles, such as your sewing, your crochets, your braids, your twists, uh, your uh, cornrows, um, you name that style, uh, Bantu knots, um, it will hydrate the hair. Um, and then I also have a hair growth oil as well. Um, and all of the ingredients were ingredients with purpose. So you can literally take the ingredients and go to your search engine and type in hair benefits, and you're going to see and understand why uh, that was those products. Yes, absolutely. Um, so yes, yeah, so I did that. Um, let's see. So, so how would someone? Oh, I didn't realize how much it was. Right. You got a lot going on. A lot of good things. Yeah. So how, how would a licensed professional connect with you to wholesale your product? Because she does have a process. This isn't a product that just goes to anybody's house through wholesale. Or she has a process. Is there a link? Or you know, would you like to email you if if they're interested? Yeah. Okay. So if you're interested in the wholesale of the product, um, you can visit www.soworthyproducts.com and then uh, there is a, a link on there uh, in the menu that you can print off the application and then you know that in and that address I were to mail that to um, would be uh, on the application. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And so it's available for wholesale. It's also available to consumers. And if I'm not mistaken, you can also purchase the product on the uh, website that I just made. So you're more than welcome to, um, if you, even if you're a stylist, you know, um, you can visit the website, you can purchase the trio. The trio is all three of the products um, and start using them on your clients and collect the data and information. Um, as far as um, for those that are non-licensed uh, style, excuse me, non-licensed individuals and you wanted to use the product personally, um, you're more than welcome to also purchase the trio, um, or you can purchase them individually. Um, but with that being said, um, the product line is doing great. Um, I do have a, a stylist in Atlanta that um, has the product available in her salon. And then I also have another stylist located in uh, Phoenix, Alabama. Uh, and she also uh, has the product available for retail. I also have uh, two other stylists that I'm working with that live in uh, California that uh, we're in the process of getting them on board to uh, provide the product for their clients as well. Beautiful. So do you guys see all of this progression that has transpired? Like, um, I love it. Um, many of my clients are, are doing like really, really well. You know, this isn't taking anything from anybody because you, uh, I mean, all of them are doing different things. You know, one person has created a, you know, fit behind the chair brand. It's, it's just really been exceptional. It really has not just for them, as you guys may be hearing them share, but you know, for me as well, I've grown as a coach. I've learned some things. I've learned who I really want to work with in the marketplace. I've also learned who I don't want to work with in the marketplace. And it's okay. I teach my clients that it is okay to decide who your perfect people are because you have a vision for greater and your vision dictates what you do, how you do it, and who you do it with. It, it just dictates that. And so if you if you really have something big that you want to grow and create one, I invite you to join the 2020 mastermind. I put the link in the comments. Uh, hopefully, I think everything will be clickable maybe after this goes off, but it's renewfullcircle.com slash mastermind E. Um, but you gotta do it quick.
I was saying, <laughs> you got to go quickly because the enrollment will be ending soon. Go ahead and get your deposit in so you can get your onboarding call with me. Um, there is an application, so we'll have a call first to make sure that you're a good fit for it. Um, you set your deposit and then we'll do an onboarding call and we'll move um, from there. Sharonda, hey girl, hey. So I was just speaking to another visitor as we came on, but that is the mastermind that Sojourner um, is, is currently in with me. And um, it's just been amazing watching her grow. We were saying the other day how she has grown with, you know, my brand online. And many of my clients work with me years ago. They may not have taken every course as she has, but I do have a lot of repeat um, clients. You know, people are just at different stages. And when they're really, really ready to take their business to the next level, uh, the mastermind is a great opportunity. Um, if working with me privately is too, but this gives you a chance to be around some exceptional women. Like really the, the information. How do you feel? Let me say that about having uh, mastermind partners. How has that benefited you as well? Oh, it's been um, absolutely uh, amazing. Um, uh, once you have gone through uh, the mastermind, I mean, we're working with each other for the course of the whole entire year. Um, relationships have been established, professional um, relationships, as well as personal relationships. I mean, because there's been times when we got that real good, good coaching session because we weren't necessarily um, meeting expectations <laughs> or working in that exceptional and, and not my expectations <laughs> but the ones that you all said you desire so i right. just hope what you said right. okay. so one of those that accountable piece, <laughs> that <laughs> accountable piece um you know uh we've been able to lean on one another to aid and assist each other to get <laughs> our goals and needs um met so it's definitely um a good space and place to build um, relationships around like-minded individuals. Um, you know, I mean, everybody is so in the room. You got to go to a new room. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it, the relationships in the in the mastermind has been amazing. Um, and uh, being able to uh, support one another in our own individual uh, walks mm -hmm. of our profession has been phenomenal. Um, thank God for technology, even though we get hiccups every now and then. <laughs> I, I mean, like major ones today. Technology. I mean, because if you didn't put any of your courses together. I would not have met the awesome people along the way, um, you know, through my own career journey and personal journey. Um, and I'm pretty sure that any of the other individuals who have been through your course, they can honestly do the same thing. Um, and even if they didn't choose to do the work, if they even took out the time to even print off the things, um, you know, and have them in their place, um, they can even say, okay, she really gave me the value, y'all, and I dropped it. I mean, really. Um, and I've listened to others who have taken um, classes and courses and, um, and they didn't say those things about their uh, their business coach. Um, I can honestly say I was being obedient um, because I, I remember even sharing with you how, okay, well, I'm, you know, I'm listening to this coach over here and I got this one over here. And like, uh, it's so much, it's so much that you know, I had to remember the path is narrow and you can't go wide. And I realized in that moment, 
That was that mindset thing that I was actually going why. And I prayed about it. And it was like, no, you need to keep going with where you at right now. Who you've been following. How did these people even end up being um, able to captivate your attention? Because they're, you know, um, what you have, what you are, stick with this. Um, and I realized in that that, mm, that was an issue for me. Um, I'm a great starter. Um, but now I can honestly say I'm, I'm a great finisher. Uh, well, but the work isn't, you know, isn't done. But so far, so good. I think that the other, um, the other professionals that you've worked with, I think they could, they would agree with me and probably add on some additional uh, nuggets. <laughs> so awesome. I'm so glad that when I heard you say now that you are a stronger finisher, um, that's something that you'll take with you forever. That's not like something that when the course is over, that part of you becoming more is gone. That's something that you can take with you. And those things to me are priceless. Absolutely. My stuck place, you know, a great visionary, really, really creative. And, and I think a lot of part, a lot of finishing things is deciding what's most important, which is one of the things I help my clients do. I'll say, I say, okay, this is. Yes. Being a finisher feels great. Uh, being stuck in the middle, that doesn't feel so good. Um, being a great starter, yeah, that feels good, but it's short-lived. It's short-lived. Right. So, um, yeah, go ahead and continue, dear. I was, you were just off the screen. So. Well, the internet does not want us to be great today. See us or not. <laughs> but, but the good thing is it's two of us, so we've been able to piggyback. piggyback. I'm going to allow you to um, share how people can connect you everything that you have to offer from your course to wholesaling to where your salon is just tell them all the good things and um and direct them to how they can connect with you okay so if you wanted to connect with me the best place for you to connect with me is by sending me actually just send me an email um at twist it sister at gmail.com and that is T W I S T I T S S T A H at gmail.com. Um, so it actually says twist it sister with an H at gmail.com. Uh, and then uh, I will email you back um, and you can put your question there. Um, if you are looking for uh, styling services at the Twisted Sister Salon, you can go to www.twistedsister.com and then select online booking. Uh, if you've never had services with us, then you would definitely want to book a consultation. Um, that way we'll be able to aid and assist you with where you are, find out where your hair goals are and where it is that you'd like to be. Um, and if you are interested in the So Worthy products, the astringent, the revitalizing growth oil, or the uh, amazing moisturizer, uh, that would be at www.soworthyproducts.com. If you wanted to follow me, um, then you can follow me on uh, Facebook at Twisted Sister Salon. You can also follow me on Instagram at twist underscore it underscore sister. And you can also follow the So Worthy product line on uh, Instagram at so worthy products. That's what it is at So Worthy Products with an beautiful, action. beautiful. So for those of you who want to join in and come and just share with us and 
grow your brand and your vision and expansion, um, be sure to go to renewfullcircle.com slash mastermind E. Um, put in your application. You can't be slow on the draw. Um, we're ending enrollment for 2020 uh, soon uh, so that we can get started. Um, we start before 2020 actually begins. Put in your application. Uh, call to see if it's a great fit for you and you're a great fit. You can pay your deposit. We do our onboarding card and then we get moving. You get to meet your mastermind members um, and then really get ready for an amazing uh, year of growth financially. Um, so we're not just growing the brand and how it looks, you know, we're growing your coin, right? So that you can have more freedom in your life and your business, run a brand that's fulfilling, meet some amazing people like Sojourner and many of my other mastermind members. And I love the opportunity to support you in that expansion. So, Jenna, thank you so much oh, for having me for your time. I don't yes, take the course. Hey, but without taking the course, I mean, I would probably be slaying some hair from my hair today. <laughs> you are off today. It's a lot of working, creating revenue, and you're servicing people. So, it's just beautiful. I love it. This blesses my, my soul. Um, and, and then. I <laughs> I totally do it. So, I, mean, I, know, I know what you mean. It, it, it's it's definitely uh, it's been a journey. It's been an awesome journey. Um, I can't wait um, to continue my journey. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's where you get, you actually just get to a point of you know being pleased. Yeah, and I really pleased. Like. I don't even, I don't, really, there's not even a, a word um, or words right now that really I can um, put to um, all of like what we've done so far. And I like to say so far um, because, you know, there's so much more to come. Uh, just keep watching, uh, join in. Um, get in that mastermind uh, course. Uh, it will definitely, definitely um, stretch you in your business and in your personal life um, as it has 